Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Oh, no, I forgot Penny's medicine. I'm the worst horse owner. I'm the worst horse owner. Pen, you didn't get your medicine. I'm going to go up there. I got to be able to give her food. Oh, I got to go back up. I have to go back up. All right, can you hold down the fort? Sucker girl, call her sucker girl. She's got a sucker first thing in the morning. You okay down here? You hold down the fort? Okay. Got the dogs, keep you safe. Sophie's still up there. I hate that there's so much poop in her, in our little field. Seriously, I feel so spoiled with Sam doing chores half the time. He does chores half the time, you guys. Let's see. He does them, um, he'll do them three, five times this week, and then four times next week. Okay, he does chores more than half the time. So today is Tuesday, and I'm hoping to ride today. Uh, if it warms up a bit, it should warm up. If the sun comes out, I just don't want it to be icy, but yeah, that's my goal. I'm gonna ride my penny pickle. The reason I'm so proud of myself for riding her outside in the snow is because usually in Canada, often in Canada, people will not ride horses at all, give them the whole winter off because of the weather, and then start back in the spring. Yeah, I forgot the medicine. So he's like, you forgot the medicine. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep her working or like at least supple and moving. And I'm proud of myself that I'm making it happen. For any of you guys wondering what the heck is her supplement, she gets this UTP Ulcer Therapy Plus. And this stuff is like unbelievable. You guys would not believe this is this. If you suspect ulcers in your horse, this can cure ulcers and prevent them. And it has worked on our horses. We have cured ulcers in our horses. Also, she gets this liver flush every single day. We're gonna stop it eventually. Right now she still needs it. It can take a while for its liver flush to work and it has been working. We keep these supplements in the house so they don't freeze. Shh. Why are you sneaking up on us? Oh, see what you do in the barn without your mom. We are ready to release the beast. I love this little barn, you guys. There's nothing I don't love about this little barn. All right. See, she's waiting. My girl goes slow. See, she's waiting. Thanks, Sam. Look, she's waiting. Yes, I know. She's a perfect puppy. You are a great owner. It's true. Gabby is a worker. Like me. She. Yes, you are. You put in the time. Like Gabby's not. I get mad after five seconds. You get mad after five seconds? Yeah, you're like me. Okay, so it is February the 2nd today. I'm a day late, but I want to challenge you guys something. I want to challenge you all to something amazing. So basically, in this month of February, I challenge you guys to keep a love journal. And this is what it's going to be. It's going to be a piece of paper that you write on every single day. And all you're going to write is what you want to be, who you want to be. So not the, not all the things that you are, but the things that you want to be. You can have things that you are. So for example, today it might look like, I am patient, I am patient. And then tomorrow it might be, I am kind, I am beautiful, I am healthy, I am strong, I am thoughtful, I am loving, I am loved, I I am amazing, I am rich, I am pregnant, I am, not me, I don't wanna be pregnant, but for any of you guys out there, they're looking to be pregnant. Write down all the things that you want to be, all the things. Sophie, what do you want to be? You know what the funny thing is? What? I was gonna buy a journal yesterday. Where are you gonna buy a journal? Store. Oh, oh, that's all right. If you don't have a journal, you can write it down on a piece of paper and then eventually just staple them together. And then all through the day, whenever you're bored or feeling lost or feeling anything, anytime that you're not busy and you have just time to think, think about what you wrote down and imagine you writing it down. I am patient. That's a big thing for me. I'm not a patient person. But, um, I'm not a patient person, but that just brings more impatience to my life. So I need to write down today, I am patient. I am patient. But write it in a pencil so that if you misspell the word, you can spell it correctly. I am a good speller. I am, I am an awesome bad speller. speller. No, a bad if you speller. say I'm a bad speller, you will be a bad speller. Look, I look like a ghost. <laughs> I love my hair. 
I love your short hair too. You didn't learn all the words you're supposed to learn in grade one? Good, I'm glad you're blaming it on the teacher. I mean, I didn't grade one teacher. Learn anything. So, but don't say I'm a bad speller. What do you what do you what are you gonna write in your journal today, Gabby? What do you wanna be? I love riding. You wanna be a good rider? I am a good rider. Yeah, I, I love good. riding. It's good. That's a good one for me. Although I do love riding now. I'm gonna ride anything and everything. What do you want? Yeah, oh, she sorry. I can handle Finn. See what I just did there, you guys? I can handle Finn. No. I, I can handle Finn. I take that as a challenge. Just, just like me and Tina while somebody was riding him. The... Yeah. Does Finn do that? Um, no. Gary's teaching him. To don't do that. teach him to do that because I'd be riding him and I don't want a sudden stop like that. Well, he used to do it all the time. And now when you do that, he just runs through your hands. So I'm teaching him to do that, but better. You know, actually stop and not like Chino, like dead stop. Chino was taught to dead stop. How did Chino learn to dead stop? Well, that's because he was Western, Mom. Oh, he just Western things. Oh, curious. Those darn Western trainers. No, just joking. I love a good Western trainer. All right, anyway. February is the month of love, and the most important love of all is the love of. What is the most important love? Family. No. What is the most important love? Yourself. Yourself. Trick question. Cheated. Why? Okay, this is my challenge. Try find this exact same squishy. Alright, if you find that exact same squishy, post it to Sophie on Instagram. And I'll follow you. And she'll follow you. Even if it's bigger or smaller. Alright, take a good look squishy. at it. Alright, there you go. Okay, so the most important love of all is the love of yourself. You can't love anybody else the way they're meant to be loved unless you love yourself you have to love yourself to get anywhere in your journey you have to love yourself um, it's from squish delish so it makes it a little bit easier she got it at the dollar store if anybody is wondering no uh, don't tell them okay. they have to find it out oh, okay Shh, i'm not going to tell you guys okay so anyways that's what this month february is going to be about it's going to be about learning to love ourselves even more than we do. So I want to see your pages. Anybody who writes down a page every day, I am patient, I am patient. I am so patient, I have all the time in the world, I am patient. Um, I want to see your pages, what you wrote today, send me pictures of them on you Instagram. You not patient. I am not patient, but I'm gonna be patient by You're saying not. it every day. I am patient. I'm not. We'll grow impatient when you keep on saying that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be growing myself patient and growing them impatient. I'm a hyper person and that makes it hard for me to be slow and to be patient. Waiting for what? Packages. Packages. Yeah, I can't wait for nothing. But anyway, let's get on with the video. I want to see your pages, you guys. Send them to me. It doesn't matter if you're 12 or 90. Send me the pictures of your pages. I want to know what you are. I just close my eyes. break Gabby is learning about this what are you learning about Gabby cells. the cell theory you guys know the cell theory I'm working I did my thing which I should get a prize for my yeah. the, freaking, the freaking school like the freaking book because I know people who wrote honest. the book expected me to just to all of a sudden know everything about cells so I could do the worksheet even though I've never had to learn cells before so it's true, the books that we use uh, basically give her the questions and then she has to study. We have to study the things. So we're just learning about cell theory. And I don't even ever remember learning about cell theory. I remember learning about cells. But. Um, can I make eggs in a pot? Yeah, hard boiled eggs? No. Um, so we have done a bunch of school. Fed the bearded dragon, which takes a long time. How are you liking her? I love her. I like it when I can feed her with my hands. Yeah, like we love her. It's been fun. It's been exciting. Learning about bearded dragons is like a whole lesson in itself. Like that is a big school 
thing to begin with. Sophie's learned so many things. Tell me three things that you learned about Bearded Dragons. I can only eat um, stuff that's as big as square between her eyes. That was only one yeah. thing. Tell us two more things about Bearded Dragons. Um, um, they can eat crickets. I kind of already knew that, but... Um, okay, you fail at school. <laughs> oh, you fail at school. She does know lots of things. She's just not in the frame of mind. And She's not thinking of them. They shed. They shed. Yeah, they shed their skin. She's going through a shed right now. It's annoying. We oh. have to give her lots oh, of baths, but we like that. Some way she shed it like around her nose because it, like it's bright now. Just uh, around her nose. She's only doing a partial shed right now. Just her body, like her torso. And her head. And her head. Yeah, oh yeah, and her head. Too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so Gabby is doing the cooking today because Gabby is really good at cooking. She has patience. Which reminds me, I have patience and I have time for everything, which I keep reminding myself because let me tell yeah, you, I, I got no time, you guys. I have no patience. Like, I have, stop. <laughs> I have a list of like 17 things I need to get through today. I need to do and I need to get to. They I all take a hard. long time. I'm trying to get them done. But I just keep reminding myself I have time for everything and I have patience. So I'm just being patient. Just over here, being patient. I'm excited to know what you guys wrote in your journal today. What did you write? <laughs> I wrote, I am a good rider. You are a good rider. What did you write? You should check it. What, what did you write? I'm busy right now. I can't. You don't want to tell. The, the reason I told you guys to write it down is because when we write things, we take it in a lot better than if we just say it. And I have been really focused on I am a patient person today. It's really making a big difference. All right, so this weekend, I was like, yes, we did not have to. Don't mind my red tongue. I was eating cinnamon hearts. Me too. They're hot. Yeah, they're hot. The, so the this... hottest ones are at the bottom. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh, it seems weird. Okay. So... This we're weekend I was like, yes, we don't have to go to the tax store this week. Yeah, that was a lie. We're headed to the tax store. What are we getting? We are getting a blanket. Blankets, yeah. Let's so let's go show you what we're gonna Pacino get. Chino and Storm. I love blanket Why shopping. Why does Storm need one? Storm's not getting one. I'm gonna sew that one. And Storm's gonna we're gonna try a new one on Storm. Storm. We're gonna explain. Let's go get them and we'll explain it all. But just wait. Don't you love Storm's them? wearing the one that he wore a while ago and hasn't destroyed it. So. Mm-hmm. So do you like blanket shopping though? Yes. Like as awful as it is to have to spend that much money on a horse blanket Only every couple good of weeks. People there and not snotty rude sales people. We love our sales girl. Like um, you know what I ordered at the tax store? What? A knife. Yeah. Here's Second my dog. She is loving life. Here's Gabby's dog. Everybody pay, pay attention. She loves in the front seat because she sits and looks out yeah. the front. She loves going in the car and she loves going in the car. Who is not coming with us? Daisy. Daisy. Why? She because gets she sick and poops. She yeah, she she loses her mind. It's probably because she no, doesn't she hear. she poops her pants. She pooped once. Mostly she pu pukes and it's an awful experience for her. So without having to like try and figure out how to medicate her and stuff like that, it's just not worth it for us right now. We're hoping that She'll grow out of it as she gets older, like most of our dogs have. All right, let's oh, go. Molly, Molly loved the car. Molly is perfect. Molly loved the car from the moment she rode in the truck yeah. to come here. But I want to tell you guys. See, all the powder. Yeah, it's it hot. So I want to tell you guys, though, like, here we are, like, portraying a Molly as the easiest dog on earth, and she has been super easy. Mm -hmm. But it all comes down to when there are puppies. It all Only comes when down. When puppies is when you actually have to be stricter. Yeah. When they're adults, you don't have to be. She's as not even a year old yet. But here's the thing: we open our door for them to go pee, her and Ruby, and zoom, they yeah, run they down run to the down. barn, and then they run back up, and then they run down to the barn, and then they come back up, and then they go pee. So every time they go pee, they run. So like they have really good outlet for their energy. So that cut that off right there. So after like, so the fact that they have get the energy out that they need to get out means that the only issue we've had is training and she trains like a dream. Molly, are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? She is, she thinks, she's a thinking dog. We're here and it's snowing, it's turning into a blizzard, but I drove anyway. You guys know I'm nervous about that, but that's good, I'm gonna write in my thing tomorrow. I am not a nervous person, I'm not nervous, but uh, over there, that's the blanket. Can you guys see it? 
That's the that's the blanket Chino broke through. Like it's still kind of working. So we're gonna go in and try something different this time. I'm gonna get a different kind of blanket. I'll show you guys. All right, so we got this. It's a navy and tan or navy and cream. It's a 300 gram blanket. It's a Goliath, regular Where? neck. Oh, that's for Chino? So yeah, it's a size 84. We're gonna put this on him. And then you got a neck. And no, and then to be extra inventive, we bought this. Uh, this is a rain sheet, just a regular old rain sheet. And it's the, so you measure the size of the blanket and you measure the denier. The denier is how rippable it is. So this rain sheet is the most rippable blanket that they have in the store. So we bought them the 300 gram blanket. And we're gonna put this ripped, rip proof rank blanket on top. You said it's the most rippable. It's the most rip proof, like it won't rip. So, so we're putting this smaller one on top. So yeah, so we're, no, it's not smaller, but so we're, yeah, we're gonna put a rain sheet on top of a winter blanket, and then when they grab a hold of them, hopefully they'll get the non-rippable one. I'm pretty sure uh, Oakley's had that blanket on before. I'm pretty sure I saw it rip to shreds. <laughs> so it happens with boys, like geldings rip everything to bits you guys it's Especially awful so. i also got six bags of shavings because that's about how many we go through each week i'm gonna grab those too and after we have drifted off too far let's tear down these walls our destiny has come we're walking down our path but gabby is into the zodiac thing she's always like reading about the zodiac she was just telling me the most dangerous zodiac sign. What's the most dangerous zodiac sign? Scariest zodiac sign is Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I'm the scariest and Sophia's the kindest. Big surprise. Hmm. And then dad's the most honest and mom's the laziest. I'm not lazy. I'm like, the, I'm the most active. No, you aren't. Oh my gosh. You're more active, but as soon as we're like, can we go up or like, can we stop doing this? You're like, yeah. So you're lucky then. Yeah. So you're what's lazy. Molly? Molly is the prettiest. Hi, hey, Molly. Oh, hello there. Did you see us coming? Today, we are gonna work on something new, Miss Penny Pickle. We're gonna work on our draw. You know what our draw is? She's like, no, but I know you're gonna tell me. Hey, be kind. So, uh, Gabby's not here yet because um, she's getting changed, you know. And she got out of bringing the shavings in. She got out of bringing the shavings in. That's how big of a bag Thank of treats to use. So, make sure you shove it back up there. Oh my goodness, Sophie. So basically, Gabby likes to make a good impression for you guys. Like, she didn't want to just show up here five minutes after going shopping in the same clothes that she wore for shopping. Like that would make it seem like she was just a peasant girl. And you all know she's like the queen. The queen. She's gotta look good, gotta gotta have everything all perfect. So she's changing. I'm using She decided bottle. she needs to wear jeans in the middle of the day. Like jeans would be fun to wear. Ripped. Yeah, so we're gonna see, we're gonna see everybody notice what she ends up coming down in. So today is the first day of the new section of our course and it's called building your draw. So we're gonna be building your draw. You guys know like building your, like drawing your horse to you is the opposite of driving them. So draw and drive. Drive, you're pushing them away. Draw, you're pulling them into you. This so that's what we're gonna work today. And we don't know it very well My yet. Out. It seems like rocket science to me, so we're gonna try it. But what Sophie said is true. If you walk up to your horse, show them. Drive your horse away. I have to go over here. Okay. This is what Gabby does, I swear. Tall and you push. You your ears at me. Hey, 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 Penny. Penny. Yeah, get some of the ponies. She thinks she's getting a treat at the door, but we're not doing that anymore because you chase the ponies. All right, so now show me how you might. Gorgeous. Hey, I'll show you how the horses think you're gonna bite them. Yes, you don't want to bend over. They might think that you're going to bite them. Oh, all right. Show me how you would you walk if you want to draw your horse to you. Not like that. Like this. I'm glad you took the time to get changed, Gabby, like because this. the day fam. Yeah, that's good. The day fam. Did you change your shirt too? Yes. Yes. All right. So there you go. 
She's dressed perfectly for I winter. She, said she was getting a coat. Head to toe, looking gorgeous. Is there any particular reason you felt the need to change midday? Uh, because I was wearing the clothes that I slept in. Oh, Gabby, don't tell them that. All right, so basically, this is kind of what I the feel first. Like I skipped a bunch of steps, but. Like... <laughs> yeah. So Sophie's doing what is called a boomerang, and she's going to stand on one side of this ball, and she's going to make her horse. <laughs> nope. She's gonna draw her horse to her and make her horse travel around the, the ball on the other side. Which, honestly, that is phenomenal for a very first try. So this is Boomerang. She's asking her to come to her. Good, now give her the, I'd give it to her, that's good. She has a short attention span. Remember, she always has to touch your hand with her nose. really good, really fast. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> so. I'm laughing because because that's going to be me in a minute. It's kind of like this. So I'm going to wait. She's looking at me, so I'm going to draw her to me. She has to touch my hand. Good girl, yes. Look at that, you guys. You see the heart in my pylon? It's a tooth-shaped heart. Okay. Penny, see the top this pylon? She's getting better. She's getting better? Jealous. Okay, so uh, that is, I'm gonna see if I can get Penny to back up here, because this is one thing I have not really done. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. No, when you're not facing her. So that's one thing we didn't do, is like, so she should be able to back up when I back up. Yes. Go forward when I go forward. It's hard with three people in the arena. I wanna put you guys down. I'm gonna work with it, work on it, and see what I can figure out. But basically, I'm gonna try and get my penny girl to go around that pylon. I'm officially terrified my horse. She's terrified I'm gonna do the cheek hold on her, so now she doesn't wanna do anything with me. So, yeah, we're failing this course, you guys. We're failing. She's getting ready to come to me now. Okay, but you didn't get her to go. So here's the thing. If she doesn't go in the direction that I want her to go, I'm supposed to do the cheek hold. And that's impossible to do with a horse that's terrified of the cheek hold. All the way around in a circle. Okay. Let me Okay. Okay, so stand on it and make her go around without you walking around it. Okay, now you have to do it without walking around it though. You have to send her around it. Send her, yes. Yes. Oh, good. You're stubborn. You're stubborn. All right, I'm gonna work on some other things with her. I'm gonna work on some other things with her that she's used to so that she, yeah, so that she remembers like that it's not all cheek cold and scary and but yeah change of plans Gabby's gonna work on the cheek cold with her <laughs> Penny put a happy face on <laughs> Let her come to you don't chase her down Okay, honestly, if you've ever seen a temper tantrum like that before, just let her come to you. So she has the right to say no. Molly, Molly trying to herd you there. Let your herd come to you right now. <laughs> Molly, good girl. Hi, I'm here. Stop. Push your head down from the top so she can know that she can put her head down and not be stressed. Yeah, so that's exactly what we need to do. We need to go back, start at the beginning, reward just a couple of steps.
I need her to know that like just trying to get her to do it has been such a hard thing. It's really stressed her out. Just pet her and love on her. But see, when Gabby really puts her mind to it, like I love how she, oh, somebody had a dream. They said that Gabby got attached to Penny. You guys, I think it could happen. Good girl. Yeah, she's stopping it right. Yeah, so proud of you. So Gabby, so proud of you. Good girl. The only thing is she's smart. So now you should try a longer one because she actually is like smart enough to think like, I only have to take a couple steps I'm not doing anymore. Like, Get her to walk around that ball. She doesn't like her cheeks being touched? So you have your hand on her neck? Yes, I have it right on my pole. Yes. I'm right here. Okay. Okay. That, my friends, is the miracle of Gabby. That is the miracle of Gabby. I am so happy to have her. So happy that she has the patience. Sam and Gabby have all the patience in the world. They're not, they, they're just calm, calmer people. They're just calmer, quieter people. And. Nope, go back to it, give her a treat. There. And now you're just gonna rest your hand and click. Nope. No, hand away. Okay, you cannot do that. Hand up by here on the other side. Yeah, that's right. And then now you're gonna stop scratching, just gently hold and click and walk. Okay, you cannot do that. Don't you know that you're beautiful?